rare to watch either Malcolm Brogdon or DeMontis Sabonis have an off night on offense, and it happened on the same night tonight. Is that just uh, the rare case of the shot not falling? Did Toronto do anything to take them out of their rhythm? Yeah, you know, I think it's a, it's a case of both, you know. Um, give credit to Toronto. Uh, they played good defense. Uh, they were really swarming those two guys, you know. And then also at the same time, there was there was some shots that we would have liked to get back. Um, you know, some, they had, we had some good looks. Uh, it's a combination of a lot of things. I don't, I don't fault Malcolm or Domas at all uh, with, the, with, the, with the extreme effort uh, that they always show. So it was just one of those things. Uh, it didn't, didn't bounce in for us when we needed it to. We. Yeah, Nate, the team seemed to come to life into the third quarter and carried that into the fourth. What was the catalyst behind that? Well, I just thought uh, we, we were playing with a little more, a little more juice. Uh, and I said, I said that to him there uh, as a group at the end of that quarter. And I thought they finished that third. Like you said, we were, we were really moving. We, we had them on backing up and on their heels a little bit. Uh, we were attacking. We were setting good screens. Uh, our movement was much better on the offensive end. So there was a lot of, there was a lot of highs and lows in that game. Um, you know, it felt like we were trying to claw back a lot of the time. But, but our guys, they do that. We've, we took a couple of leads there you know, in the second half and, and uh, our guys kept fighting. Other questions, please. Uh, Dave. Hey coach. Um, obviously uh, a much was made about your relationship with Nick before this game. Uh, did you find yourself thinking about that at all? Like when the game was on, or is that something that you were able to kind of easily put in the background and focus on the task at hand? Yeah, not during the game. Um, you know, we gave the, the wave there before the game and, and that's, and you know, that's the, the respect that, you know, we give each other and that I give him uh, and then the wave after the game. But but during that thing, it was, uh, you know, very competitive out there. Um, be that same way again tomorrow. Uh, we just got to go look at it and, and see what we can do better. Brendan Rourke. Hey, Coach. So Toronto seemed to be able to clog up the paint a lot. There was a lot of missed shots at the rim for uh, Indiana. What makes them so tough around the rim? Well, they just, uh, it's, it's what I said earlier. We, we had shots um, uh, that will make, we will, that, that will knock them down. Uh, they were clogging the paint. Uh, we got to be strong with the ball when we, when we do enter the paint because they were swarming and, and doubling and, and loading up. Um, on the back side, our, our, our weak side has to have, uh, uh, you know, keep moving and be ready to shoot. Um, and, and like I said, we'll look at it. I got I to go look at it more before I make too many comments on it. Scott. Nate, how critical is just TJ McConnell, as you said, to give him juice in the third quarter? If not for him, who knows if it's back to being a single digit game? Yeah, he brings it. He'll pick up full and he's changing the momentum of the, of the game. You know, he's attacking the paint when he's pushing it on offense. So, yeah, he's big. He's, he, he brings that. That's what he consistently brings every night to our team. And, and we love him for it. Christos. Hello, coach. I would like to ask you about, uh, you are down by eight points during the fourth quarter. You make a, a great run and you, you are, you are where you are too close to the, to the win. What are, uh, what were the details of that game that uh, cost you the win tonight? Yeah, I just, you know, there was some, um, you know, there was, I'm telling you, there was some shots made by them and missed by us there. Uh, and I know it's not uh, just that simple. There's a lot more details to it. You know, we got to be good when, when a shot goes up and only give them one opportunity at it. I think we gave up a few uh, offensive rebounds there. Uh, I thought our defense was aggressive. I did. I, 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 was, I was pleased for the most part of how hard we were playing and the things that we were trying to do. Got to do some different things uh, tomorrow. Uh, and offensively, just got to keep moving more. I thought we, we got standing there a little bit in the first half. I thought there was more movement in the second half. Um, just got to kind of look at it. Okay. Playing the same opponent twice in two nights is obviously very unique. What does preparation look like for you in a scenario like this? Yeah, just to keep keep looking at it and keep improving. It'll be a different kind of game tomorrow. You saw you saw one kind of game here today. It'll, it'll be different tomorrow. You know, maybe different guys and different lineups, um, different things that, that how we want to attack on the offensive end and, and different things we want to do on the defensive end. You know, both teams will be. We'll be doing that here the rest of the day and, and into, into tomorrow before the game starts. Scott? Raptors did a good job of taking away the airspace, making things difficult. Was this maybe the 
uh, a, a team that was kind of most just disruptive um, that you have faced? Yeah, they, I mean, they did. They did a good job of of, uh, of being disruptive and loading up on the ball and loading up in the paint. So, yeah, you got to give them credit there.